Well, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is in the Middle East today, putting pressure on Iran. Now, she spoke to students at the Qadar campus of Carnegie Mellon University, where she said that the U.S. is committed to putting pressure on Iran to curb its nuclear program. She said she fears that the government in Tehran is actually headed in a dangerous direction. We see that the government of Iran, the supreme leader, the, the president, the parliament, is being supplanted and that Iran is moving toward a military dictatorship. Now, while Mrs. Clinton reinforced a call for additional sanctions on Iran, she says the U.S. has no plans for military action. But still, we keep hearing those calls for sanctions against Iran, and it seems like they're growing louder and louder here in the United States. But is it all talk and no action? We're here to talk to us about this very topic, investigative journalist and RT contributor Wayne Matson. Hi there, Wayne. So American officials, it seems, are trying to get more and more international support uh, to impose French sanctions on uh, Iran. You know, du during her trip, Hillary Clinton spent most of her time, whether in speeches or negotiations, talking about Iran. It seems like there's so much back and forth because now Tehran is saying, okay, we're going to enrich uranium abroad, but the West is afraid because they've sort of heard this before. So is the West giving up at this point? Are they ready to impose sanctions? Well, Iran did say that they're, uh, they've uh, fielded a, 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 an offer from uh, France, uh, Britain, and the United States to enrich uranium abroad. Uh, the Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan has also said he would help facilitate that. But Hillary, I, you wonder who's in charge at the State Department over there because uh, Hillary uh, Clinton said that it, Iran's becoming a military dictatorship. Well, military dictatorships didn't seem to stop her from the overthrow of President Zelaya in Honduras on her watch. Uh, in a military uh, coup, and, and, and she's refusing to allow President Aristide of Haiti back in that country when the country really needs him in a time of need. So she's being very hypocritical here in accusing other countries of being dictatorships. Well, you're right. She did say that she thinks Iran is moving toward a, a military dictatorship. What kind of evidence, though, does she have of that, or how is she justifying that? Well, I think she's talking about the Revolutionary Guards. She's talking about the, the Basij militia that was seen out on motorbikes. Uh, beating uh, various uh, demonstrators. But I would point out she's in Saudi Arabia right now. I wonder where she is when it comes to the Saudi religious police who've been harassing over the last few days people, shop owners who sell uh, Valentine's cards and Valentine's gifts. Uh, and uh, they've, they've been known to be quite nasty, the Saudi religious police. And also uh, her friends in India, uh, they've taken no action against the Hindu militants, the Shiv Sena party, who's basically doing the same thing, attacking religious minorities and also people selling Valentine's cards. So she seems to be quite selective in, uh, in her uh, outrage. So you're saying she's sort of picking and choosing here. But uh, Vice President Joe Biden allegedly said that China is also going to join in on imposing sanctions. Uh, how does he figure that, especially if we consider the recent tension uh, between the United States and China? Well, <clears throat> I'm not sure Joe Biden is on the same uh, song sheet that Hillary Clinton is on. Uh, he, he, one thing so how can we make sense of everything he, if one U.S. official is saying one thing and then another U.S. official is saying something. And that's the problem. With Obama, he has an administration by committee. So, we're, you know, if I were involved in negotiations on a uh, nuclear issue with Iran, I would probably be hoping that Ms. Mrs. Clinton would be moving up the date of her departure. She said she wouldn't be Secretary of State in a, in a second Obama term, but I'm, I'm sure there's some negotiators who would uh, really feel that uh, she might want to leave a little bit early to make their job a little easier. I mean, why is that? What are the headlines going to read next uh, in regards to Iran? And you're saying that this one issue is really going to shape uh, whoever stays and whoever goes when it comes to uh, Obama administration officials? Well, I, it may, uh, but I think the problem we're seeing here with uh, the negotiations is there's too much being said in public, and she's actually, with her rhetoric, is poisoning the diplomatic waters here. And I think a lot of diplomats would probably wish she would uh, not be talking so it's much. That old question of rhetoric versus action, investigative reporter and RT contributor Wayne Matson, thank you for your analysis.